Respawn. BGM's latest look at classic films and shoddy game tie-ins features the 1990 action sci-fi flick Total Recall. Go for my cover! A film that's this action-packed and has enough set-piece after set-piece in it to keep even the most severe ADHD sufferers entertained. Should make a perfect video game, right? Guess again. Come on, don't bullshit me. Guns. And aliens. And Arnold Schwarzenegger. Three things guaranteed to make a great film. Come on, don't bullshit me. Don't believe me? Then check out 1990 action sci-fi flick Total Recall. Set in the future, Total Recall tells the story of simple construction worker Douglas Quaid, whose life is turned upside down when a botched memory implant reveals he's actually a secret agent from Mars. Go blow my cover! Pretty soon, everyone, including his wife, played spectacularly badly by Sharon Stone. Sweetheart, be reasonable. After all, we're married. Is out to kill him. Consider that a divorce. Quaid must battle his way to the Red Planet, join a mutant rebellion, stop an evil corporation, and ultimately liberate Mars. So just like any regular package holiday then. With its action-packed set pieces and Martian setting, Total Recall had all the right ingredients to make a perfect video game. And in 1993, we got just that. This futuristic action sci-fi features a central character struggling to remember his true identity while being pursued by a shadowy corporation. It was tense, it was action-packed, it was called Flashback, and it had nothing to do with Total Recall. No, instead of this rare gaming masterpiece, fans of the film had to make do with this. Total Recall on the NES is so bad, when we told our researcher she'd be playing it for two weeks, she had a complete breakdown. Two weeks! <laughs> now in all fairness to acclaim, I think they probably did watch the film at least once before making this monstrosity, but they were either A, very preoccupied at the time, or B, on acid. My money's on B. Take the first stage for example, set just after Quaid comes out of recall. In the film, Arnie has to make it back to his apartment with seemingly everyone out to kill him. You blamed Quaid! You blamed him on Mars! Acclaim have decided to take this metaphor literally and have every single living thing out to kill you. The kids in the rubbish bins, never in the film. The police, never in the film. And the gangland drive-by shootings. Seriously, is this game set in the future or downtown LA circa 1993? The less I say about the oversized glory holes, the better. And it just gets weirder. Why do I have to beat up unarmed hobos? At what point in the film did Quaid ever tackle a kung fu skeleton? And when did Bagpuss ever sit on Arnie's face? And talking of Arnie, what the hell have they done to him? In the film, he can easily take on four or five guys in one go. In the game, you can't even bitch slap a bearded midget in a pink jumpsuit. Eye-poppingly bad. When you lose a life, you're presented with an 8-bit rendition of Arnie quoting one of his most famous lines. It's just a shame the line isn't from Total Recall. It's from Terminator. Just because the same actor was in a different film doesn't mean you have to keep referencing it every 20 seconds. It's like having a Rambo game where every time you die, Sly screams out Admittedly, there are a few nice touches that look like they've been ripped straight from the film itself. No shit. Wifey looks the same, the cutscenes follow the film's narrative. Even if they do all sound like the teacher from the Snoopy cartoons. And they've even got this bit in, which I think is actually pretty cool. But that's all I think is cool. If you play this horror show through to its climax, you are at least rewarded with a half-decent end scene. And being told you've brought life to a dying world doesn't half make you feel proud. Then you realise how long you've wasted actually trying to beat the game, and those feelings quickly turn to shame and embarrassment and abject pity for yourself. Right, I'm off to have a memory implant installed in my brain that will make me forget this ever happened. Don't fuck with your brain, pal! It ain't worth it! Trust me, mate, I've played Total Recall on the NES. It's so worth it. For now, VGM signing out. 
Next week, VGM blows the dust off another stinking movie tie-in game for your viewing pleasure. Watching it is funny. Playing it feels like a crane kick to the face. The game, sadly, doesn't quite manage to capture that feeling. Mainly because all you have to do is walk over to the other guy, kick him in the face, and you're done. Repeat this four times, and hooray, look at me, champion. VGM Retro Review Karate Kid, Wednesday, April 24th, here on Gamerspawn. Mercy is for the weak. Here, on the street, in competition. A man confronts you, he's the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? I think those two guys over there created Karate Kid on the Nintendo. Come on, let's forget this. Wait. Until now, Gamerspawn history has focused on documenting the detailed history of AAA military shooter franchises. On Saturday, we'll shift gears in order to bring you an in-depth look into the conception, development, and continued growth of the industry's biggest open-world action series, Grand Theft Auto. Luck. You know what Lucky stands for, L-U-C-K-Y? This is also a graphic engineering department. Today, Rockstar Games is a world-renowned brand and a household name for millions of gamers. But the massive franchise that continues to change and impact the industry had very small beginnings. To make sure you don't miss out on the big debut, tune in to our exciting live stream on Saturday, April 20th at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Second.